All right. Shalom. Ka hala. Yahweh. Ba Hashem. Yahweh Shah. Waha Raka Quidash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. The men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This lesson is going to be centered around the elect of the nation of Israel, which are the ones that shall be forgiven for their sins. And we have the greatest hope upon the planet because we have the hopes of being a part of that number. That's why here at Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and the elders, we call ourselves the hopeful elect. Because as the scripture tells us in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 1, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yehovah Shai, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Let's read that again. Romans 8 and verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation. And when you go into that word condemnation, it means a damnatory sentence. To them which are in Hamashiach Yehovah Shai, meaning those that are a part of the body of Yehovah Shai. Those that Yahweh Shai's blood covers as the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3 tells us, Blessed be the power and the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in HaMashiach. So those that are in Hamashiach are on one accord with Hamashiach, meaning they have the mindset of Hamashiach. And that comes by the supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, which leads to the spirit of prophecy. It says, verse 4, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. All right? So the elect was chosen in Hamashiach before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to himself according to the good pleasure of his will see that so when we go back to the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 1 there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach, Yehovah Shai, which are the predestinated ones, all right, the true blessed ones. And that's the number that we have hopes of being a part of. That's why we give diligence to make our calling of the election sure. It says, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yeah, we are not carnal, all right, but we walk after the spirit that has been given unto us, which is the spirit of life, which comes from the spirit of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. And we have mercy from the Most High to allow us to know these things, all right? Now, we want mercy from the Most High, ultimately, meaning we want our sins to be covered. When you read the book of Psalms 32 and verse 1, it says, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. And that main transgression is breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. We as Israelites did that as a whole, meaning the whole nation. But only those that are predestinated in Yahweh Shai is going to be covered from that transgression which is breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments, and every other transgression that we have committed in our past lives and this life that we're living in now. That's pure mercy, all right? Matter of fact, that's the mercy of David. Isaiah 55 and verse 3, it says, Incline your ear, and come unto me here, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, 
even the sure mercies of David. All right. Now, we are the ones that have been quickened. All right. Because we inclined our ear. OK, meaning we had the capability to understand this truth when we heard it. And this truth has made us alive, brought us from that dead state. Now we have that promise of the everlasting covenant, which is the law, statutes, and commandments be written on our inward parts. It says, even the sure mercies of David, meaning we're going to be forgiven for things that we shouldn't be forgiven for. And that's the number that we want to be a part of. Psalms 32 and verse 1 again, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. And once again, what is sin? Transgression against the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Verse 2, it says, blessed. So we want to be a part of that blessed number. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and prudeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. All right? So we want to be a part of that number, those that have the 100% truth and no guile in their spirit. That's why the book of Revelation, chapter 14, and verse 1 tells us, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. All right, so we want to be a part of that predestinated number, that 140 and 4,000, okay, that's going to reign with the Lamb. And we have the Most High in Yahweh Shai's name written in our foreheads. Verse 2, And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne. And we're singing that new song. And before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. See that? We want to be those ones that has been bought back. Okay? Verse 4 tells us, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithsoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. Meaning what? We was found in Yahweh Shai from the beginning. All right? Those predestinated ones, those true blessed ones. All right? Verse 5, this is the point. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. All right. So no one can lay any fault at the feet of the elect. Because, number one, there is no guile found in their mouth, meaning no deceit, no lies. They're going to speak the 100 percent truth, especially pertaining unto the scriptures here in these times of gross darkness. It says, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. See that? An uh, individual, a human being can lay fault at your feet, but it's not going to be any fault laid at your feet before the throne of the Most High, which is very important. All right? That's the bridge to our salvation. All right? To be found uh, blameless or to be found innocent. As the scripture tells us in the book of the book of Revelation. Chapter 2. And verse 17, it says. He that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches to him that overcometh. I will give to eat of the hidden manner and will give him a white stone. And in the stone, a new name written, which no man nor saying he that receiveth it. So let's look up. White stone. First, let's look up the word white. The pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G 3022. Lucas. 
Lucas. It says, of white garments as the sign of innocence and purity of the soul. Let's look up the word stone. The pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G 5586. Psaphos. Psaphos. It says, In the ancient courts of justice, the accused were condemned by black pebbles and the acquitted by white. All right, so we want to be a part of those that are innocent, all right? We want to be a part of those that have been elected from the beginning to be innocent, regardless of their actions in the body. Those are the ones that are found in Hamashiach, and those are the ones that Hamashiach's blood is going to cover. Back to the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, and verse 7, it says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Let's read that again. Ephesians 1 and 7, in whom we have redemption through his blood. See that? So those that Yahweh's blood cover, those are the ones that shall be redeemed. All right. As we read in the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter, it says the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, because the scripture tells us in the book of Psalms 130 and verse, and verse 3, if thou, Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, should have marked iniquity, O Lord, who shall stand? And the answer to that question is no one. So that's why we want to be a part of those that are found in Yahweh Shah, HaMashiach, because Yahweh Shah's blood is going to cover us. And we're going to receive that white stone, that white pebble, which represents being not guilty, being found innocent, being found with pure garments on, spotless garments. Okay? The book of Romans, chapter 4, and verse 7, it says, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered, all right? And that's pure mercy from the Most High. We want to have the sure mercies of our King David, being the house of David, all right? And how are our sins going to be covered? By Yahweh Shai carrying our sins. Isaiah 53 and verse 5 but he was wounded for our transgressions. See that? And we want to be found in Hamashiach, those that he was wounded for, which is the elect. It says he was bruised for our iniquities, which is the elect. The chastisement of our peace, which is the elect, was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed, and that we is the elect. All right? And that is speaking of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah being that sacrificial lamb coming to what? Cover the sins of the elect. Therefore, Israel as a whole can be accepted back to the Most High through the loins of the elect. Okay? So, back to the book of the book of Romans chapter 4 and verse 7 again, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute iniquity. All right. And if we are part of that number, we're going to be a part of the true blessed ones. And that's something to work for. That's something to look forward to, to be found innocent in the sight of the most high. All right. Because we have committed an ultimate sin as a whole nation, which is breaking the laws, statutes and commandments of the most high, sinning in our past lives and sinning in this life also. All right. And that's pure mercy from the Most High to be forgiven for things that you shouldn't be forgiven for. All right. And that's what we want to be a part of that number. All right. Those that are found innocent. OK. So, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shalom. DTA.